That would be perfect for a board and it's nice dry wood. That'd be nice for a bow drill board. I think I might use this. By the way, folks, this is my new uh, Husqvarna uh, axe right here. This thing is doing a great job so far. Husqvarna, I'm sure you guys can see that. This is a beautiful axe. Very beautiful axe. It's, uh, it's got a 26-inch handle on it. Thing looks nice. I had to sand the handle down a little bit make it look a little bit better but this baby is looking nice the blade is nice and sharp so so far folks I love this new axe that I just bought All right, folks, as you guys can see here, I've got my uh, bow drill set board here. I already drilled my little hole, got my notch cut in. This is my spindle. And again, I've got me my rock for my socket that I made at home. And then this is my bow drill right here. And I carved this stuff using my mower knife. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, try out this spruce and see if the spruce works out for my bow drill set. I got it to work again, guys. Fire using a bow drill set. Heck yeah. Ooh, spruce is the best wood to use. Oh my gosh. Didn't think I was gonna get it going at first. That took little effort too, with dry spruce. Dry spruce, folks, dry spruce. Gets the job done. And that right there is how you use a bow drill shit. That was cool. So cool. I haven't done that. I haven't been able to do this, folks, in a long time. Now I just gotta gather sticks.
All right, folks, since that was the uh, since I was the one that uh, forgot my um, plate at home, before I cook up my steak, I need to make me a plate. Um, this is spruce. This is not the best wood to use, but it's all I got to use right now. So I'm going to have to make me a temporary plate out of spruce. And that's what I'm doing. I'm just straightening it up right now. I think that'll do right there. Color good. Not the kind of coals I wanted, but you know, they'll do. I bought me uh, this mesh grill, this mesh fire grill. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw this on these two rocks right here. Ooh, that rock is pretty hot. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use this to cook up my steak. My steak is still kind of frozen, but I'm pretty sure if I set it on there, Steak, boys. Thing looks great. It's a good steak. Just gonna go ahead and slap her on there and uh, see if she thaws out. I'm pretty sure it will. You know, it's right there on hot coals, so I don't see why not. All right, folks, I got me some uh, Montreal steak spice right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and sprinkle some of this on there. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and let it sit like that for a while, then I'll flip it over and put some more seasonings on the other side. Gonna put some steak spice on some Montreal steak spices on this side. I I normally don't cook on flames, but today I really have no choice because I'm not really in a good hardwood area. Hardwood is not abundant around me right now. So I gotta make do with what I've got around me right now. So that means cooking over open flame. I normally don't do it. I'll usually just throw the steak on some really hot coals and cook it that way on some hardwood coals. But like I said, you know, hardwood is not abundant to me right now in this area. It's just all softwoods. Steak's a little burnt, but I don't mind. I like my stuff crispy. Alright folks, what I have right here is a Crystal Light pink lemonade packet. Um, I believe it says right here, prepare in a tall 16 full ounce glass of water. Well, I got a Nalgene right here. See, like my uh, Joe Robinette Scout sticker here. Um, this is my uh, Nalgene. And on the side of my Nalgene, I have, you know, uh, my uh, full ounces on this side. So, right now, I'm floating just a little above 16 ounces, which is really not going to make a big deal. It's not really going to change the flavor that much. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead, get my drink ready before my steak gets done. I like pink lemonade. And I always carry these little packets with me whenever I'm out here in the bush, just because they're... They're very convenient. I like them a lot. Then you just shake it all up. Well, bam, you got your pink lemonade. Simple as that. 
my fancy uh, spruce plate turned out pretty good. So, all right, my steak is done now. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and throw it on this uh, spruce plate that I made here in the bush. Ooh, steak is nice and juicy too. It's the way I like it. Ha ha ha, look at that steak, folks. Look at that steak. That looks so good. Oh, and it smells delicious too. Little tiny stub sticking out and I can just stab it in the ground. I gotta grab my fork. All right, this is a moment of truth. Oh yeah. She done all right. Oh, this tastes amazing. Oh yeah. Holy crap. I'm gonna get steak every time I'm out here in the bush now. I just don't like the fattening parts. Throw those to the side for the animals. For the aminals. Mmm. For you folks who don't come out here and do this stuff, you're missing out. You really are. This is this is the best. Doesn't get better than this, guys.